I went too far, I made a mistake, and I was wrong. The apology came just hours after the images went viral. Kathy Griffin holding a bloodied likeness of President Donald Trump's head. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It was not enough for the president. Tweeting this morning, Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son, Barron, are having a hard time with this. Sick. The first lady followed. As a mother, a wife, and a human being, that photo is very disturbing. It makes you wonder about the mental health of the person who did it. This is fake blood, just so you know. The 56-year-old joked during the photo shoot about the possible reaction from law enforcement. We have to move to Mexico today, because we're going to go prison, federal prison. Not a joke for the Secret Service, which looks into any possible threat to the president. People weren't laughing online either, calling it disgusting, repugnant, shocking. Chelsea Clinton tweeted, this is vile and wrong. It is never funny to joke about killing a president. You don't even know what you're talking about. Today, CNN announced that Griffin would not be hosting the network's New Year's Eve live show, a job she has done for a decade. Senator Al Franken was tough on his fellow comedian, but not ready to cancel an appearance with Griffin in July. She did make a very heartfelt, fulsome apology. I think she was thinking she was making some artistic statement, but that image has no place in our political dialogue. At a time of deep political divisions, a rare agreement over what defines bad taste. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.